angular momentum quantum number. Also called azimuthal subsidiary orbital quantum number. Each principal shell includes one or more subshells. Each subshell has an angular momentum quantum number. It indicates the shape of orbital. L or angular momentum quantum number is an integer from 0 to n minus 1 and is the principal quantum number. Different subshells are usually referred by letters rather than by numbers. So for the value of L equal to 0, the name of orbital is S orbital. When L is equal to 1, it is P orbital. When L is equal to 2, it is D orbital and so on. Shell represents the energy level and size of orbital while subshell shows the shape of orbital. When n is equal to 1, the subshell L is equal to 0. Remember that L is an integer from 0 to n minus 1. So when n is 1, L is 0, we know that 0 is s orbital, so the name of the subshell is 1s, 1 from the value of n. When n is equal to 2, you have L is equal to 0 and L is equal to 1. So you have two values of L, L equal to 0 and L equal to 1. The name of the subshell is 2s because your n is equal to 2 and l is equal to 0, that's 2s. And when you have n is equal to 2, l is equal to 1, it's 2p. Shape of orbitals s orbital is when your value of l is 0, the shape is spherical. For p orbital, when the value of L is equal to 1, it shows the dumbbell shape. The final one is D orbitals. When L is equal to 2, you are going to have clover leaf and donut shape. Refer back to the table on the previous slide. When your subshell is 1s, you are going to have the spherical shape, n equal to 1, l equal to 0, so 1s. And for n equal to 2, l equal to 0, you are going to have 2s orbital. 2 referred to the value of n, s referred to the value of l is equal to 0. As you can notice, this orbital is bigger than this because it has a bigger value of n. So when it has a bigger value of n, the size of the orbital will be bigger. They have the same shape because the same value of L, both value of L is 0. When n is equal to 2, L is equal to 1, the name of the subshell is 2p. So this is the shape of the p orbital. This is a video of shape of orbitals for S and P orbitals. This is one S orbital. The next one is two S orbital. This orbital is bigger than one S because its value of n is bigger. This is two P X orbital because it is on the X axis. Notice that it's a dumbbell shape. And this is an example of 2PY orbital. And this one is 2PZ orbital. All P orbitals are dumbbell shape. This video is going to show you the shape of D orbitals. First one is D z square. It's on the z axis. Second one is D x square y square. It's on the x axis and y axis. 
The third one is the XY. It is because the orbital is in between the X axis and Y axis. The next one is DXZ. The orbital is in the middle of X and Z axis. And the final one is DYZ. The orbital is in between Y and Z axis.